Hey guys, welcome to Arsenal Crew. This is the match review of the 2-0 win against Everton, which was played at the Emirates Stadium. Um, it was a good re result for us, really. Uh, Pushed us up into third, secures that third space for another week. Um, I think third is a realistic target for us, but I can see second is in our grasp. That Manchester City, after they lost to Liverpool, they um, that puts us five points, I think, between us and them so second is still a realistic target for us um be nice to get second will we get it don't know but manchester city's form at the moment is a bit wobbly but we'll have to wait and watch in the space for that but back to the game um two good goals um Rizitsky's goal was a bit lucky that it um took the slight deflection over tim howard um, I think he would have got to it if it didn't take the deflection. But Jagielka, it just hit Jagielka and it just bobbled sort of over him. But good result for us. Um, Olivier Giroud, nice for him to get on the score sheet after the sort of terrible performance that he did have in the Monaco game. Because we all know that he missed tons and tons of chances. And I think that was weighing on him just slightly in this game, he did miss a few chances that maybe him, uh, his top confidence, would have taken easily. But that goal will do him the world of good. Another player that I was impressed with was um, our new signing, Gabriel Paulista. It was his first start in the Premier League for us. Um, he started off a bit nervy. Um, he did. He sort of tried to sort of hook the ball away, and he misjudged it, and Lukaku pounded. But quick reaction from Ospina. To one, do a little parry away and then to sprint after it and sliding tackle um, Lukaku. But as the game wore on, um, Gabriel Paulista, he did improve and he did some amazing tackles. One of the best ones was in the box and he, did, and he just managed to slide in, get it, stand up and run before the even attacking player had even had a chance to contemplate what happened. Um, so that really puts Per Mertesaka under pressure. Um, after that performance from Gabriel Paulista. Uh, I think he's only going go, gonna to get better because as that game wore on, he got better and better as it went on. So more game time means he will get better. And personally, I think this will start to push um, Perma to sack her out of the team. I have seen today that there's been links to him being transferred away. Can't really see that happening. I think he will stay at Arsenal because he is still an important member of the team if you think about last season how him and Koscielny linked up together yes he isn't having the best season this season but you can't just it's just an off he's just having a bit of an off time he um I think he will get better he will get back to the form that we remember of him and he's still an important player sort of in training in the dressing room like Mikel Arteta is the captain and vice captain they are still very important to the squad um, a lot of players say that um, Arteta is very um, isn't a very good player. Shouldn't be playing. Shouldn't have got that contract. Yes, but if you listen to any of the um, players, they will say that uh, Mikel Arteta is an ideal captain for us. And whenever he's in the dressing room or at training, he will um, be the first player to go up to Arsenal Wing and voice the opinions of the team and himself. So he is very important in that aspect, and so is Per Mertesacker. Per Mertesacker is the same as that, um, but we beat Everton, and it does show that we had. There was rumours going around that we had lack of leadership in Arsenal. That may be slightly the case. There's not many people taking charge, but Coquelin, he is he is taking charge. I think he is a very good player. I think that he could be if he sticks with Arsenal, could be a future captain of Arsenal. Just by the way that he um, communicates with his teammates, he gets everyone to concentrate, concentrates, he's calm, and he's a very good player. But he did get injured in that game, he did get a broken nose. He broke it um, with, from a headbutt from Giroud, unintentionally, both looking at the ball. Um, and Barkley was sort of caught in the middle of that, which has looked quite comical because the two players were going up. But neither of them saw each other. Giroud did seem quite sad and upset for him that he had injured him. But Coquelin did play on for sort of 15, um, 20 minutes, something like that. Played on, um, but then 
Naismith um, slightly gave him a nudge when he was going up for a header and the ball just dropped down straight onto his nose and probably made it even worse than it was and he had to come off at that point. But he did have a good performance, so did Ospina, so did the whole team. Um, Rosicki show, showing his class again to say he's 34, he's running around like he's 24. Um, there was a video that I saw of Vine of literally him just running and running and trying to win the ball, going for an attack and pressurising him. And he did have a lot of injuries in his early life, so he still has got a lot to offer to the team, even though he is classed as quite old. He is still running like he is young, and I st and people are saying that oh yeah he could um, leave in the summer. I don't want him to leave in the summer. He does score important goals for us when he comes onto the bench and when he starts. So that was my match review of the two 0 win against Everton. Um, we're moving on to the next game in the Premier League, which is QPR away. We should get three points there, but as long as we see keep our confidence up, keep um, our concentration up through 90 plus minutes we will get the three points there and we'll keep on challenging for that second space i think we should work our way up and also a quick side note um manchester united we've got them in the fa cup and um i was watching them against sunderland and the two goals that they scored were very lucky for them it was a very lucky result for them the two goals, a penalty, yes, it was a penalty, but if they didn't get that penalty and the player didn't get sent off, then it could have been a different story. And also, the sort of goalkeeper doing a good save, but Rooney there just to sort of header it into an open net. So they were very, very lucky to sort of um, win that game. And their defence, it just, every time I watch them, it just gives me more and more encouragement for the FA Cup game. Their attack is very, very good. If we can keep their attack quiet and catch them on the counter-attack in the FA Cup, then we will win the game. As long as we keep concentration and we put those chances away. Because their defence is very, very vulnerable. And everyone can see that. But that's in, and that's in a few weeks' time. So we'll have to wait for that one. But QPR next. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe, like, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. But for now, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.